Apple started the dual camera trend and others followed. Apple ditched the headphone jack and others followed. Now Apple has brought a notch. If you thought the Asus Zenfone 5 would be the only phone with an iPhone 10 like notch this year, boy you were wrong. The OnePlus 6, the Huawei P20, the LG G7, the Vivo V9, the Yuli Phone T2 Pro, the Okitel U18. Yes, these are the names of the phones that are rumored to come with a notch this year. And these are just off the top of my mind. So yeah, like it or not, the notch is a trend now. But is it a trend worth having? Hey guys, this is Akshay from vbomb.com and today I want to talk about the notch. Yes, Apple's infamous notch design that is now being copied everywhere. I have a lot of things to say about this but before I do that, how about you hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video. Now that you've done that, let's get started. But first let me tell you about mailtag.io, a completely free Chrome extension for Gmail that can track your emails, schedule them for you and even automate follow-up emails without a fuss. I'll tell you more at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Ah, the iPhone 10. It was overpriced and the notch sucked. But, and there is a but, the iPhone 10 brought a radical new design for Apple. One that, even though it had a notch, removed the bezels from every other side of the display. At least it looked futuristic in some ways. Plus, it housed all of the fancy Face ID tech which, while slow, is definitely a lot more advanced, secure and consistent than anything else on a smartphone so far. But why did Android makers put a notch on their phones? Was it to add an over-the-top, secure facial recognition kind of feature? Or was it to remove bezels and make the design look futuristic? Well, let me break it down for you. One of the only reasons I'm willing to accept for Apple putting a notch on the iPhone 10 is that it brought along a very secure and advanced facial scanning feature. There's a dot projector, a flood illuminator, multiple sensors and cameras just to identify your face, map it and track your facial expressions. It opens up so many possibilities for developers that the notch itself could be an individual section in how to develop iOS apps. But look at Android phones now. The Zenfone 5 has a notch, but all it features is a front camera, a proximity sensor and maybe a couple of other sensors. Surely nothing that can justify a notch. And a rather weird looking one at that. I mean it's no worse than Apple's notch in most ways, but it just looks a bit more haphazardly done for some reason. Maybe it's the angled sides, I don't know. But Asus is not the only one here. Companies like LG are doing the same thing. They showed off the G7 at MWC to a select few people and guess what, it has a notch. Look for yourself. That phone has a notch too, and why? I have no idea. There were reports that the phone was rebuilt from the ground up, and I'm thinking they did that just to bring the notch. The OnePlus 6 is rumored to have a notch too, and judging by the Oppo R15, I'd say it's pretty much a given now that OnePlus's latest flagship will come with a notch. And if you're still not convinced, just look at the latest Oxygen OS Beta. There's a space for notches everywhere. Look at the quick settings pane. There's notch space everywhere and it's pretty much confirmed that OnePlus 6 will have a notch. I doubt it will have anything better than the face unlock you can find on the OnePlus 5T, but let's move on. I might have been able to forgive these companies for bringing a notch if they at least brought a bezel-less design with it. But you know where I'm going with this, don't you? Look at the Zenfone 5. Look at the Huawei P20 the Yuli Phone T2 Pro, the Okitel U18. All of these phones have a notch and a nice big bezel on the bottom as well. So what's even the point of the notch then? It's offering nothing more than a way for Android makers to copy the iPhone 10 and sell it to people who want something that looks like the iPhone 10 but at a much lower price. It's just saddening to see Android companies selling out their originality to simply copy everything Apple is doing and I hate it. Even UI-wise, these phones aren't perfect. I mean, take a look at this picture of the Yuli Phone T2 Pro. See, they curved the corners and everything to make it look as close to the iPhone 10 as possible. But they were in such a hurry to show this phone off to the world, they didn't even adapt their own software to play well with it. The clock is obscured by the curved corners and it's just, it's bad. Sure, Android P is coming out with notch support and that should fix a lot of things. But still, the notch isn't a design philosophy I would like to embrace. 
I mean, just imagine if the Pixel 3 comes out with the notch. I would most probably not buy it. I mean, I don't want to spend all of that money on a great smartphone, which is as far away from an iPhone as it can be, just to have people look at it and say, oh, it's an iPhone 10 clone. I got enough of that with the OnePlus 5 and I'm not looking to aggravate the situation. Fortunately, there are some companies that are stubbornly defying Apple's notch idea. Look at Samsung with the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Those phones are arguably the most beautiful looking devices out there. They will sell like hotcakes, they have iris scanners and over the top features and they don't need a notch. Even HMD Global, look at the Nokia 8 Sirocco edition. That's another phone that looks beautiful and yet another phone that doesn't have a notch. And then there's Vivo with its concept Apex smartphone and what is probably my favourite way to implement a front camera in a bezel-less phone. They don't need a notch. Look, I get it. The notch makes for easy hype, but you're losing your originality in the process and you're losing your innovation. You don't need a notch. We don't want fun. End of discussion. Just please stop putting notches on phones. What you should do is use mailtag.io for all your email tracking needs. The Chrome extension has some extremely powerful and useful tools built in that can supercharge your email experience. With MailTag, you can track emails in real time, find out when your email was read and how many times. You can also schedule emails to be sent later, so you never have to worry about time zones or sending an email to your team. MailTag handles it all for you. You can even set up follow-up emails with MailTag, so you don't have to write follow-up emails. Simply create follow-up templates in MailTag or use the pre-written ones if you want and that's it. MailTag sends follow-ups on its own to ensure higher open and reply rates. The best thing though is that MailTag is completely free. So you can simply head over to the website from the link in the description, install the extension on Google Chrome and you're set. Anyway, those were my opinions on Android makers coming out with iPhone-like phones. I had more opinions on this but then this would have become a PG-13 video so, you know, forget it. But do let me know your thoughts on this topic in the comments down below. Also, give this video a like if you liked it. And if you didn't like it, you know, still give it a like. Also, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.